get up a close personal with this. I'll show you what comes in the kit, how to work the mod itself, and then we'll come back and Maddie will give it a vape for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the Smoke or Smoke X Priv kit. We do have an authenticity scan code. On the back you have a bit about the kit and the contents. And we do have a scratch off authenticity code over here as well. Opening it up, right on top we do have the X Priv mod and a do not eat packet. Underneath that we do have another quality control verification scan card. A warning card about the batteries, a user's manual for the X-Priv, a micro USB to USB cord used for upgrading the firmware, some extra O-rings, an extra glass tube, an extra coil. This is the V12 Prince T10 coil head. It is a 0.12 ohm. Good between 60 and 120 watts, but performs its best between 80 and 110 watts. The kit also includes the TFV12 print, 63 millimeters. It holds a max of 8 mils with the expansion glass, but 5 with the other glass piece. The glass is 28 millimeters in diameter, but the base is 25. It does have the hinge and lock top system with the button, so you press the button to unlock and swivel. Opening it, fill in that fill port, avoid the center post, and fill back. Click into place. It does have a wide board drip tip as you can see. It does have dual adjustable airflow slots here on the bottom that you can adjust and they are on a stopper. To change out the coil, you just spin off the base and you can spin out the coil. It is installed with the V12 Prince Q4 coil head. This is a quadruple coil, 0.4 ohms, good between 40 and 100 watts, but performs its best between 60 and 80 watts. I do have the pink X-Priv, so I'm going to fill it up with Pink Paradise from the Fizzy Vape Co. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off this pink lemonade flavor or 20% off any flavor on Bonsai Vapor's website. And here is the X-Priv mod. It is 88 millimeters tall by 46.5 millimeters by 30.4 millimeters here. It does have all oh, this plastic on it. That we are going to peel off the screen. This is a two inch colorful HD screen with a vibrant display resolution and icon based display matrix. There's also that on the back as well and it does say X-Priv with this honeycomb type pattern. Here on the side is the large firing button. Here on the front we do have the micro USB port here, the plus and minus buttons for regulating the wattage or temperature. At the top we do have a gold plated 510 contact with stainless steel 510 threading. The back paneling comes off with this little lip right here. It is magnetic so it does take two 18650 batteries which are sold separately. You can see the battery compartment here it says minus minus plus plus so they run parallel. And you can see that it does have four magnetic contacts here to keep the back paneling on. Let's go ahead and put two batteries in here. And while changing the batteries I did notice it's kind of like glittery here on the back paneling as well. So I've got the batteries in. One, two, three, four, five. Turns the device on. It displays the version of software down here. And here is the screen at the top, it does say smoke or smock. Here is the battery level of both batteries. The output mode that it's in is wattage with the output level, which is currently 1.1 watts. It does go from one to 225 watts, which is a 0.5 volt to nine volt range. When in wattage, you wanna keep it between 0.1 and 2.5 ohms for the resistance range. We also do have the ohms over here, which is zero because it doesn't have anything attached to it right now, and the working voltage as well as a seconds counter for your puff and a puff counter for your total puff. Here under the wattage level, it does say normal because it does have normal, soft, and hard output modes. I'm gonna go ahead and attach the Prince tank to it, and I love this pink setup. Oh my goodness, it looks so nice. So now that we have the setup, I press the fire button and it's asking new or old load. It is a new load, of course, because it's new to me. You can adjust the wattage by 0.1 increments using the plus and minus buttons here in the corner. Pressing and holding will have it toggle through very fast 
all the way up to 225 watts, which we don't need with this coil. Pressing the fire button three times takes you into the menu selection mode. So here is the mode setting screen where you can change the watts to the temperature by using the regulatory buttons. We have TI, NI, stainless steel, and memory mode. But if you want to change the wattage setting or the preheat setting from normal, soft, or hard, you just press and hold. And now you can change the wattage setting, the starting wattage, press and hold. Then you can change the preheat from normal, hard, or soft. We'll stay at normal. Use the fire button to switch through the different menus. So we have the mode setting. We have the puff setting, and you can go through the puff settings. We have the screen setting, so you can change the color of the screen. I'm going to change mine to purple because pink and purple, hello. And you also have the on or off option, but we're not going to turn it off because we got to use it. But we are going to change it into temperature mode for TI. Press and hold to select, press and hold to select, press and hold to select. And we are now in temperature mode, and I believe it's 600 degrees Fahrenheit for the top of the Fahrenheit. It is, and it round robins to the lowest degrees Celsius, which is 100, and the highest degrees Celsius, I believe, is 315. The Celsius is adjusted by 5 degree increments. Yep, to 315 degrees Celsius. Then the lowest Fahrenheit is 200 degrees and the Fahrenheit adjusts by 10 degrees. When you're in temperature mode, you wanna keep your resistance range between 0.05 and two ohms. This does have a zinc alloy and carbon fiber paneling with a zinc alloy chassis. I did change it back to wattage here. If you press the fire button five times, you will lock the device. If you press it five times again, you will unlock it. So again, just like all the other smock or smoke devices, pretty simple to use, pretty same navigation system on here. Now let's take it back up to FaceTime and give it a vape. Do you wanna vape it? And we're back. And we're back. Wow, YouTube magic, it's so cool. Movie magic. All right, so give it yes. a vape. The Prince Tank, which there's a lot of hype around it. I personally don't um, vape a lot of smoke or smock products just because that. There's, I don't need that much. But like, if you do, that's great. And I do, and I wanna first say I'm just got so much liquid in my mouth. I am not impressed mm. with that. What is it, spit back? Yeah. Do not like the spit back. That yeah, but that one also kinda also leaked before the video too, yeah. which is weird because I have two of them and the other one doesn't leak. Yeah. That one, that one does not leak. Now I do wanna say, in the up close and personal, I did take the base off and like show the coil. So maybe I didn't put the base on and okay. the coil back in all right because but like it's that other heavy, one, though. right? But that other one doesn't leak at all. So it's like it's like hit or miss, <laughs> huh? I don't know. I'm still drawn to this. One thing I really want to do is test this out with my Valerian. I've been vaping my Valerian for man almost a year now, so I want to see how this mod performs. Like compared to this. That's kind of cute. It is, because your blend's like perfect. Okay, let's see. This is a old, uh, no, this is new, this is new, we're good. Yeah, yeah. new coil. Hi. And then press the fire button. Press and hold. Got it. There All right, go. so let's bump this up to like 85. Or I guess 91.7. That's a radio station here. Yeah, I like this mod. I think the screen is so cool. Okay, but what were you running it at? What wattage with the print tank? I think it was like 45 -ish? Because just like oh, by looking at it, it looked like you got a bigger cloud from the print tank to me. Really? Like looking at your cloud production. I feel more, what is this supposed to be? Did I? I think you have it right. Yeah, this is 40 to 100, it says in here. I don't know, I just felt like the cloud was Cloud production was bigger. I mean, this is a big enough, big enough like cloud production for yeah. sure. But I, I don't know. That's well, something I. I like it off of this. I mean, it hits right away. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. It feels so good in your hand. I like that little side click. That's really really nice. So, yeah, I like this. I think the mod's really cool. How is it size wise? But I mean, like I ask you size wise. You're used to the friggin' Rouleau with the three batteries. Yeah. And I'm a person that's like, I want I the smallest mod possible. <laughs> I think the size is great. I mean, it's a little bit taller 
than what I'm used to. Actually, it's like the same size, almost. I mean, I think it's a really comfortable size. I wish the drip tip was pink. Why is that pink? Because you just changed the, the tank. I've heard good things about this. Same, same. Yeah, I can't. But, oh, it has a button that releases it. This button? Yeah. So you press the little button and you swivel. Oh, you swivel. Yeah. I don't know how life works. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't know how life works. <laughs> That's how you do that. All right, so that is the x -Priv. It does come in a bunch of other colors. Of course, I had to get pink though, like hello. And if you wanna see more of Maddie, I will leave a link below to her Instagram. She has like her personal Instagram and she also has her fitness journey Instagram that you guys can follow where she will show you her meal plans and exercises and everything that she's done to lose 100 pounds yeah that is so inspirational <laughs> and of course all my social medias facebook instagram twitter snapchat also i have a patreon account where you can check it out i do vape related monthly